Criticism of scientific management Scientific management is not free from criticism as it has good side in addition to that it has some flaws and backsides so let's look at them although it is accepted that scientific management enables the management to put resources to its best possible use and manner yet it has not been spared of several criticism this criticism is divided into two parts one is from the workers point of view and another is from management point of view or owners point of view let's first look at workers point of view first one unemployment workers feel that management reduces employment opportunities from them through replacement of men by machines because machines are the basic focus under scientific management by increasing human productivity less workers are needed to do work leading to checking out from their jobs and due to this increased productivity less number of workers are needed next point is exploitation workers feel that they are exploited as they are not given due share in increasing profit which is due to their increased productivity that is based on scientific management people increases their productivity but near they are not given enough money increase in their salary wages do not rise in proportion as rise in the production level waste payment creates uncertainty and insecurity from the point that beyond the standard output there is no increase in wage rate that uncertainty is the problem in scientific management next number 3 monotony due, due to excessive specialization the workers are not able to take initiative on their own their status is reduced to being mere cogs in the wheel and that's why they feel monotony jobs become dull workers lose interest in jobs and derive little pleasure from their work number 4 weakening of trade union to everything is fixed and predetermined by management under scientific management concept so it leaves no room almost no room for trade unions to bargain as everything is standardized standard output standard working conditions standard time etc this further weakens trade unions creates a rift between efficient and inefficient workers according to their wages wages determines many things number 5 over speeding this scientific management lays a standard output time so they have to rush up and finish the work in time that is every employee is bound to complete a certain level of output within a specific period of time these have adverse effect on the health of the workers the workers speed up to that certain level that is standard output so scientific management drives the workers to rush towards the output and finish the work in standard time let's look at the from the employer's point of view expensive scientific management is a costly system and a huge investment is required in establishment of planning department standardization work study training of workers etc it may be beyond reach of small firms heavy food investment leads to increase in overhead cost number second point is time consuming scientific management requires mental revision and complete recognizing of the organization a lot of time is required for work study standardization and specialization even during this overhauling of organization the heart of the organization that is work and that suffers deterioration of quality time and money spent on scientific management gives little room to concentrate on the products quality that's why ultimately what is the result result is quality deteriorates the conclusion is taylor's approach was a mechanical approach he gave too much importance to efficiency he didn't consider the human element in the organization taylor considered workers as robots 
which could speed up the whole work at any cost. Subscribe for next video that is difference between scientific and administrative management. With this, thank you all.